Okay, guys, what's up? I'm here to let you guys know that Final Cut Pro X does indeed work on a 13-inch MacBook Air and probably 11-inch. I don't have one, so I can't test it out, but runs pretty smooth on this. Um, I did optimize the media just in case, uh, you know, to kind of help the system out a little bit, but originally I was editing straight out of the camera, straight up a GH4 4K footage. And it was going fairly well. I mean, there's bound to be a few hiccups every now and again. It's not that fast at rendering, but you can do it. And having a MacBook Air is not an excuse to uh, not edit 4K footage. At least GH4 4K footage, which yes, it is compressed, but it looks gorgeous. And I only put, I, I only output to 1080p anyways. But you know, just out of uh, uh, if anybody's wondering, I'm going to do a quick little video to show you that it does indeed work. Kind of skim through one of my projects real quick. And now it'll run a little bit slower because I'm running QuickTime to record it, um, which isn't that great. Uh, it takes up system. And I'm, I'm running like four or five different other programs, so it's really running the system part. But let's see how it goes. It'll show you guys that, yes, indeed, you can. Um, and that's why I love Final Cut Pro X because I know, I know for a fact that uh, Final Cut Pro 7 could not come even close. And I'm pretty sure the rest of the nonlinear editors out there wouldn't be able to as well. Um, iMovie might be able to, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just using the iSight mic for recording the audio. It's just a quick video to kind of show you it does work. Just going to show you, yes, indeed, I have a lot of programs running. I've got Plex running. I've got Twitter running. I've got uh, uh, yeah, photography stuff uh, running. So I'm just going to swipe over. Um, it's just finished rendering. I was doing a, let me see here. I was trying to do a little state. Whoops. Trying to do a little stabilization here. Uh, some GH4 footage. Uh, I don't know, that might be a little bit too much, but you can see I can indeed scrub through the entire timeline without a problem. I guess if I go really fast, it kind of starts. Eh, nah. That's not really lag. That's just getting ahead of itself. Um, This is, uh, oh wait, this is not, oh yeah, this is 4K. I'll prove that it's 4K. I go up to here. There we go. 2997, 4K. Uh, it is a proxy. I have edited the original stuff, but it's fairly hard on the system. So, um, you know, might as well give a little bit of a break but yes indeed you can run through here and edit 4k footage um, and this is what I've been editing my videos on for probably the past two years so no excuses I mean besides having a full-time job and not able to do it and if we go up here let me see you got a 1.7 gigahertz i7 with 8 gigs of RAM um, the most important part of this setup. Oh, good looking. The most important part of this setup is storage. So, <laughs> storage here is uh, really important. If you can get a solid state in your computer, it will definitely help. You don't have to put everything on the solid state. Just put. Uh, for the most part, just put your apps, um, which, uh, of course, I have tons of other stuff on here, too. But mainly what you want is your apps. You can put your raw footage on an external drive. That's fine. Um, I'm actually, if I got super in-depth here, let's just open this up. Uh, if I want to go super in-depth, I've got... Uh, What I did is I, of course, I took my GH4. It's the first time I'm using my GH4. 
So went out and took a ton of pictures with it. And of course, a lot of 4K footage to kind of test it out. Um, and what I did was uh, you can filter to show, you know, to have it only display the video. And then I stuck all the video uh, in a subfolder and then selected all of it and drug it right over into Final Cut Pro X. Uh, and it worked pretty well. So uh, a lot of footage and pictures to go through uh, <laughs> to actually get any more videos edited. Uh, but there you have it, guys. Uh, Final Cut Pro X does indeed run perfectly fine in uh, in the uh, on a MacBook Air. And I'm running the latest OS, and yeah. So anyways, uh, this video should be up pretty soon, hopefully within the next week or two, if I can get it finished. So uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them below. I won't necessarily get to them. I have a full-time job, so yeah, this is kind of a, it used to be, this used to be a job, but now it's more of a hobby. I'm um, just doing, uh you know, vacation, family videos, um, not, not, not any more professional stuff. <laughs> I got too bored of it and had to give it up. So anyways, but Hey, it's still a lot of fun to mess around with. So anyways, uh, like, and subscribe and, uh, till the next video. Thanks guys.